Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we are going to be going over the best kind of quote-unquote overclocks for Gunner in Deep Rock Galactic. We'll be going through each of their weapons. This is my list and it's going to be highly subjective. Uh, Gunner has a lot of really good overclocks, but let's talk about some of them. For the minigun, my pick for best overclock would probably go to a little more oomph. This one is a pretty solid overclock. It gets you one more point of damage for every shot, which is nice for the minigun. You get uh, a lot more DPS every point of damage that you get with the minigun, and you get a 0.2 second faster spin up with it. So if you take the faster spin up in tier 4, you have a 0.1 second spin up, so practically no spin up. It's really nice for just moving around. You can use the minigun with any build that you'd like with this overclock. I really enjoy this one. There are a lot of really good overclocks for the minigun though. I can easily see people picking Lead Storm as their favorite overclock because it gets you a lot more damage. It is a little bit limiting and you do have to get used to that, but the damage is definitely there, especially against things like Dreadnoughts, you can shred right through them. I could also see people taking Burning Hell because it does provide a lot of utility for the minigun. It is a really nice if you pair it with uh, volatile bullets from the revolver. And the minigun doesn't really have any bad overclocks. We will pick one once we get to the worst overclocks for the minigun. But for my best pick, I think I would go with a little more own. It's a very solid overclock that just lets you have a very flexible build. Up next we have the Thunderhead Heavy Auto Cannon. This is a weapon that doesn't have any bad overclocks. It doesn't even necessarily have good overclocks. All of the overclocks I would say are probably great to amazing. Best overclock for me for the Auto Cannon, I would pick Neurotoxin Payload. This one is just super useful on high level missions, uh, especially if you start playing on the higher hazard levels where bugs start moving really fast, especially on Has 5 they will outrun you so you can't really run in a straight line away from the bugs. You kind of can if you have a uh, neurotoxin payload. What this one does is there's a 50% chance of inflicting the poison onto any enemy where uh, they are hit either with the direct damage or with the splash damage of the shell. This will then put the neurotoxin on them. Neurotoxin deals damage over time. It also slows down any enemy affected by this. This does 12 points of poison damage per tick uh, and this lasts for 10 seconds. So you can get a lot of extra damage out of this. Downsides for taking this though are that you lose out on AOE damage and you lose out on direct damage. So your damage is cut down. Your overall damage can be quite a bit higher though because you do have those uh, constant ticking damages as well as you do get a slightly bigger AOE radius so it's easier to splash the poison onto them. One thing that does make this really strong, at least in my opinion, is your tier 5 ability which is to fear enemies. And this counts also for just splashing damage. So you can just hit a bug, splash some of the poison to them, and also potentially splash fear to them so they are running away, they're slowed down, they're taking damage over time. I could see people taking Big Bertha though. Big Bertha is a really fun option. You do a lot of single target damage then, and cutting down on that base spread is nice. I could honestly see any of the other ones being picked too because all of them, like I said, are pretty great. So, so this one, I wouldn't be surprised if anybody picked any of the overclocks for the auto cannon. And then for our last primary weapon, we have the Hurricane Guided Rocket System. For this one, I would pick Overtune Feed Mechanism. This one is just a really solid overclock for the Hurricane, and it makes the build extremely flexible. There are some other overclocks that I would also consider, like Plasma Burster Missiles, but Overtune Feed Mechanism works in just about every situation. What this one does is get you 20% faster moving missiles. That's very nice and it gets you one more rate of fire. That one extra rate of fire makes the Hurricane feel incredibly good. Kind of a straightforward overclock for this one. Again, I would consider other ones like Plasma Burster Missiles because they can potentially give you a ton of utility, a ton of damage, and they are a little bit weird compared to some of the other overclocks. They also have the special ability for some reason to one-shot the rocks on escort missions, so if this was just for escort missions, yeah, I'd pick that one easily. Now we move on to secondaries. First up, we got the Bulldog Heavy Revolver, and for my pick for the Bulldog Heavy Revolver, I'm going to pick Magic Bullets. This one's a really hard one to pick from, though, because Magic Bullets is amazing, six shooters, super fun, and really consistent. And then you have Volatile Bullets, which hits like an absolute truck. I'm betting anybody who would say that Burning Hell is their favorite overclock or the best overclock for the minigun would also probably pick Volatile Bullets as the best overclock for the revolver because they pair so well together. Also, anybody who really likes maining the Hurricane can run Volatile Bullets really easy. Main reason why I'd pick Magic Bullets, even though it only does kind of have one build on the revolver, it is a really strong build and it's a really good crowd control build. The way Magic Bullets works is that you get more ammo, but you lose out on damage. But all of your bullets can now bounce into enemies no matter where they hit. So if you hit an enemy, it can bounce into another enemy. If you hit a floor, it can bounce into another enemy. This has 5 meters of effective reach from those magic bullets, so just so long as you hit near an enemy, you can potentially hit them or hit multiple enemies because you can also pair this with the neurotoxin rounds in tier 5. 
This adds slowdown and can splash to multiple enemies. Well, it can splash so long as you take the tier 3, which is for explosive rounds, which will lower your damage even more, but, well, it will lower your direct damage, but it gives you AoE damage that actually gets you a little bit more damage. And with the poison, this can have poison splashing rounds to multiple enemies. So it's kind of like having Neurotoxin Payload, but on your secondary, it clears up crowds really easily. Pretty much you just build this all for ammo, and then just spam fire at any crowd that you see. It'll clear up the crowds pretty fast. It's great if you want to take it with a high damage primary weapon, so if you want to go Jet Fuel Homebrew on the Hurricane, if you want to go Big Bertha on the Auto Cannon, if you want to go Lead Spray on, or uh, Lead Storm on the Minigun, those are all pretty good options. Um, that's why I would pick Magic Bullets. I just really enjoy it for that reason. Up next, we have the Burst Pistol. And for the Burst Pistol, the overclock that I would pick is Lead Spray. For me, this one's kind of an easy one. Lead Spray just gives you so much value. You get 10.5 extra points of damage on top of your Burst Pistol. So you can start racking up damage really quick, especially if you just want to build it for full damage. You can spray down Dreadnoughts and other big enemies super fast. Downsides, though, is that you can no longer use the Burst Pistol reliably at long range. You can still use it pretty well at medium range and you can use it very well at close range, but once you get past medium range, eh, the spread is just too much. You have way too much spread and your bolts are too inconsistent. If you do hit, there is a good chance that you'll kill whatever you hit, but, uh, well, assuming it's not something giant like an oppressor or something, but assuming you hit like a web spitter, there is a chance that you might kill it, especially if you get a lucky headshot out of it, even with just one of your bullets hitting. So it does have that going for it. Uh, it does make your gun a lot more specialized. I could see people picking some other mods here too. Experimental rounds is really good. It makes it so you're not giving up your uh, range. You can still shoot at pretty long range with the gun, but you still have more damage. It does come with less ammo, so uh, that might be a deal breaker for some people. I could also see uh, Electro Mindlets being pretty good because that works well as an AOE weapon. So again, if you want to pair it with a uh, high damage primary weapon, Sure, that one works just fine. And then our final gunner weapon is the coil gun. For best overclock, I would pick Mole for the coil gun. Mole is really strong. This doesn't really come with much of a downside. You have slower charging speed, which can be a little bit annoying, but you can make up for that uh, just with your tier one if you really want to. It's not necessary though. Um, I don't really find it too much of a hassle. But what Mole does is every time that you punch through a surface and you can actually punch through multiple surfaces as well as Mole lets you punch through even more surfaces than normal, you get extra damage on your shot when it hits an enemy, and this is 150 damage per wall that you go through. So if you shoot through two walls, you're doing 300 bonus damage on top of your already really high 130 damage. That makes it so Mole can kill big things very fast. It is really easy to kill Dreadnoughts with this. It's really easy to kill Detonators. I could see people also arguing for uh, Hellfire being up here, because Hellfire is super useful. You get tons of AoE, it does really well against robots, it does extremely well against robots, especially if they're the turrets because they can't get away from it. And I could even see Triple Tech Chamber being argued up here too, because Triple Tech Chamber is pretty nice. It provides you with a good amount of utility, it gets you multiple shots, it's great with your extra electricity damage on your tier 5. Um, you can have the bug, which is still existing for some reason. Uh, if you take the damage reduction in tier 4, that you can just have it permanently on yourself all the time. So you have 50% damage reduction from everything. That includes fall damage. Uh, even more so if you take disconnection protection on your um, zipline. It, it's really nice to have. <laughs> so those would be my picks for Gunner's best overclogs. Some of them are pretty straightforward. A lot of them are actually pretty straightforward with Gunner, but Gunner is a pretty straightforward class, so that's not too surprising. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. We're going to be taking a look at the worst overclocks for Gunner next. That should be also pretty fun. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube, patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this, and if you'd like to be a part of it, you can. There are links down in the description. Thanks, everybody, for watching this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye!